What is going on guys? Welcome to Dharvi Ahar. I'm Ryan, your tour guide, and today I'm going to answer that burning question that I have. I don't know if you all have it, but what is travel like between countries in COVID-19 Europe? So in 10 hours, I have a flight to Italy, and this is my first time outside of the country since the lockdown began in March. I did cross borders in Gibraltar, and I was in a UK territory in Gibraltar, um, but that's a little bit different than flying. I'm pretty nervous, I'm not gonna lie. But worrying never helped anybody, so I'm just gonna put my headphones on, I'm just gonna put my tunes on, and I'm just gonna not worry. Wait, actually these aren't connected to anything. Okay, who am I kidding? These are Xbox headphones. I brought them because they have a mic in case I wanna edit. So why am I nervous? Well, I'm nervous because today is August 31st and on August 13th, Italy changed their tourism laws. So now to enter into Italy, if you're coming from Spain, you need to prove that you are Corona free. So how do, how do I prove it? Well, I could have taken a test before leaving. Uh, could have but didn't. So, when I arrive, I'll take an immediate test. I'll have the results within half an hour. But, if I'm a carrier and I'm asymptomatic, I'll have to stay in quarantine for two weeks in Italy, which I wasn't prepared for. But, if you're watching this video, hopefully, it came out all right. Like the video for Wishful Thinking. Actually, if I test positive, I probably wouldn't have made this video at all. I probably wouldn't be doing YouTube. I probably would have just given up, counted my losses, and become a fisherman or something. But until that happens, since I'm here, I'm just gonna enjoy this uh, creepy, empty train ride by myself. Okay, so I've made it to the Madrid airport where I'm going to spend the night tonight. My flight's at 6.35 a.m. tomorrow. That'll be fun. So before they let me on the plane, I have to present a document saying that I'm aware of the requirements of entry into Italy and I plan to follow through with them when I get there. Um, I just found the document online. Ryanair luckily sent it to me um, and I just filled it out on my phone. Although you can print it out and bring it too. So I'm gonna get settled in here, maybe probably do some editing, and hopefully we'll see each other on the plane. So good news, I did make it on the plane. They actually didn't ask me for any documentation other than my passport and my boarding pass. Gotta love Ryanair. So, We'll be taking off pretty soon, and I'll see you later.
guys, good news. I'm not pregnant. No. I'm not positive for COVID. I'm standing outside the airport right now, so I got out of the security check. And it was actually a pretty easy process. I had to wait about an hour for my results, but uh, basically I just gave them my passport. They stuck a cotton swab up my nose, probably until they touched my brain. Yeah, definitely touched my brain. Um, and that was it. I waited, got my results, and it came out negative. So I didn't have to pay anything for the test, and there's the result right there. Negative. I was worried that I might be an asymptomatic carrier because I've been traveling recently, but I guess wearing the mask and washing your hands actually does do something. So I finally made it to my hostel here in Rome. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's any restrictions, uh, but I've, I've noticed there's only one other person in my room of seven beds. Um, so maybe that is part of social distancing here at the, ho here at the hostel. Um, so I think today I'm gonna get some food. I'm gonna walk around and enjoy Rome a little bit. And tomorrow, I'll take you guys to see the Roman Colosseum um, and a lot more stuff, I promise. I did just wake up from a nap, but I think um, a little bit jet lag still, or maybe it could be just from having not slept last night, but my brain ain't working so good. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Until then, give travel.